Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Many Intruder, and welcome to Fallout 4 Nuka World Level 1 Survival, where, well, after a. Well, we made some good progress. We made some good progress last week in Dry Rock Gulch, and today the priority is we are going to try and finish this thing off. That's the priority. Let's actually get a world under our belt, our rather weird kind of blue string belt. I'm just kind of wearing. I think I'm just wearing some, like, string. I guess what's actually keeping up the furry pants right now, some string. It's not necessarily the best gear to be wearing. But you know what? It gives me quite a lot of strength. A weirdly large amount of strength right now. Because, yeah, we are definitely in the mode for pivoting into melee. Strength 9. Strength 9's pretty damn good with a rocket baseball bat. Yes, I think we can pull this off. And I've got a plan for the crickets, too. So, here we are back in Dry Rock Gulch. Now, we know there's going to be a bunch of bloodworms. But there's also some bloody crickets. And the crickets are arguably more dangerous because they can just straight up murder me. The bloodworms now, I think as long as there's not too many, I can take care of them with the rocket bat. But the crickets, the crickets pose a real bit of difficulty to me. Because they can just come over, tank anything and throw at them, and then murder me. And they're over there. Now I could just avoid them, but they are guarding something I would like to potentially get my hands on. That hunter especially is a problem. So... What I need to do is, I'm going to clear out the graveyard, and then I'm going to see what I can do in that area over there just for the crickets. So, over here. Bloodworms will pop up in a second. Yep, there's one right there. Lava. Now, we know what we can do here. We can one-shot these guys, and I think I can two-shot the non-lava as well. Now, the venomous ones might be a bit more on the tricky side, but it'll be... Oh, oh darn it. One of them got flipping behind me. No, not you. Wait. Where's the other one then? Alright, fine. You know what? Screw you, Vance Defense will do good work there. You're dead. I think there's one normal one. Yep, there's a normal one yet. And then normal bloodworm. Ooh, close to flipping one-shotting you. He gets sent off in that way. The crickets are already coming, aren't they? That's not fair. You weren't supposed to be it. Run! 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 Try and get this one. Jump over the fence! Jump over the fence! Jump over the fence! Screw them! Right. Hopefully we might just be able to move them. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. They're really fast, but they might struggle to like navigate around objects, so it might just be fine yet. If I can just get up top to here, and then up to no, no, to, to here, and then up to here. Yep. Okay. Bloodworms in the cemetery taken care of. Nice. Now we've just got to find out where the crickets are. Moments like this, I really wish I hadn't completely missed that bloody recon scope. I apparently completely missed in a previous part. That would be so useful about now. Where are you? You're... Okay. They're up there. That's definitely had a view of them for a moment. So now they've moved around here by the roller coaster. There you go. Right. I see you there. I see you there. Oh, 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 oh. Two, right, just just get, into get into the, get into the, get into the. You know what? Never mind. Okay, close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> Screw you. Screw you. I'm just going to close this door too because I don't trust them not to work around me. Okay. Now, where are they? Are they still out just outside the door? No, they've wandered off somewhere. Now, I wouldn't mind potentially do they just try and get around this way. No, not yet. Fine. Fading. Good, they don't know where I don't know where they are either. <laughs> I shouldn't be so pleased with the fact that they've lost me because I've lost them too. Right. Head up the back way into the theatre. Just check there's nothing here. Yep, fine. So what I would potentially like to do here is lead these guys into oh 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 right. So they're still definitely around here somewhere. Good. Frag mines. That's what we need to do here. So frag mine times several. One. Two, three, four. That should be plenty enough to kill or at least do enough damage to these guys. It'll be fine. Now, draw their attention. Hello, I'm over here. I've got a gun. It's not silence. You should have totally heard that. In fact, actually, I can do better than that. I can come up top here and just start firing at them. Hello, you're over there. Hello, hello. Yeah, that's right. I'm over here. You know, the only way to get up here, it's to go through into the theatre. There you go. That's right. Come on. Ah, but I may be overestimating their pathfinding here. I'm not sure they can even actually make it over into the theatre. I'm not sure they know this is the way to get to me. That's right. Come on. In fact, I seem to have kind of driven them out of the world. You know, it's not perfect, but I'll say... It'll just about bloody do, actually. <laughs> now, just in theory, if they're stuck over 
there, then if I just grab these frag mines nice and quick, if they want to come back through here, then they pretty much have to come through this route. So I am going to lay some mines, blocking the only path back this way. Because you don't trigger your own mines. I thought you did. It was a rumor when Survive Mode first came out. But it never turned out to be true. So now, three mines apiece. If they come back this way, they are as good as dead. And from there, back to the rocket bat. And if they just want to live out there, that's fine. They can just live out there. Now, that lets me back into this area they were guarding. And that is useful because... Star Core. Because I have a plan. The star cores, I think, are going to be very, very important. Because with these star cores, if I can get them early outside of the Galactic Zone, that will be very, very tactically useful when I actually get to the... Pretty sure they were trying to come back to their starting location there. Yep! Pretty sure they were. Though I haven't actually seen the XP pop up. Um, a uh, slight problem. I'm now kind of trapped back here. Right, grab the giddy-up buttercup. Where are they? Cave cricket. Oh, dear. Right, grenade over there. Oh dear. Right, okay. Oh, you're injured. You're crippled. Okay. Leg is crippled. Leg is... Um, okay, you you probably can't do any of your attacks. Can you? Oh, they're both crippled. Right, go, go, go. Just jump, 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 jump. Okay, this works just perfectly. Neither of you can run. Right, Molotov cocktail damage every time. Boom, that'll do some good work. Now we just keep our distance from them because now, oh yes, now you are so screwed, my good man. Now, can I finish off the cave cricket? Yes, I think I can. Now I think I can just get in there, swing at him with three hits. Boom! And boom! And I probably can't, can I? No, this isn't going to quite do enough. Oh, but it knocks him back. It knocks him back. That'll do. Why won't you just die? There you go. Was that only worth, I think I just saw 11 XP. That was the entirety of my ammo for the 10 millimeter too. Oh, beautiful. But they're dead. They are dead. That is good. Also, I should just grab all of this meat because I'm a little bit low on the food front right now. Right. That is this starting area cleared out pretty nicely. Now you, I would like to know they're dead and not going to attack me. I would like to do your quest or skip it if I can. Now, if possible, can we skip this please? Actually... I really don't want to do this. Can we skip it? <laughs> Pretty please? And leave those poor buttercups out of the stable? What if it rains? Well, of course it wouldn't work this time. Play along then. Rustle up some horses for you, huh, cowboy? I'll be back before sundown. Appreciate it. Remember, check the Nuka Cola refreshment stands. That's where they usually run off to. All right. Now I need to drop... Oh, is it just one? Oh, I thought it was like all three. I think there's three of them dotted around. Right. Job done in that case. All right. So that is our first bit of safe combination right there. Lovely. Now we're going deeper into town for the first time. And yep, now we're going to have a fair few more things. So we've got the bar. Oh, the yellow! You are They just spring out of the ground. <laughs> Blatantly cheating. Oh, you take three hits to kill. That's a little bit concerning. Have we got anyone else? And no. Okay, for now. Just keep grabbing the food. Action points come back pretty quickly. I'd like to two-shot them. So we've got... Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, actually, no. Not oh, dear. Basically, free legendary. Right, okay, hang on. Get the grenades ready. You're just over there. Right, and about that. And that should do it. Nice! That definitely did something good. Oh, hello. Right, another lava just pops out of nowhere. Right, you're dead. And more yet. Just keep on the move, keep on the move, keep on the move. That's a... Oh, don't forget the sting wings. Actually, look, wave flames than I was expecting. Right. Keep on the move, keep on the move, keep on the move. Don't let them get on top of you. And... That one's just coming at me. Let him come for me. There you go. Swing at you. Blood worm. Vat's defense should hopefully do a good job there. Still in caution, not danger. Pretty sure I killed the legendary over there. Caution's an odd state for these guys. Generally, they're either coming for you or they haven't seen you at all. Now, how many stingwings are we looking at? Because stingwings are generally assumed are, like, tough, but that one's marked as, like, really easy to take down. And where's the... 
Where's the corpse of the legendary? Also, is this a... Is this a working... Darn it, it's just a prop! Stingwing's coming out here. App ah, Stingwing's coming for me, but yeah, I always kind of thought, you know, I get confused. Well, I don't get confused. I just don't generally see a Stingwing and think, oh no, it's it's like a Cazador in New Vegas, and it's not. Not even slightly. Right, we'll grab the meat off you. I think actually a steak off Stingwing's pretty damn good. Uh, where's the... Bloody hell, that was totally legendary. I have no bloody clue where it is. Now, I saw a body being, like, tossed, uh, like, up in this direction. It didn't end up in, like... Over here. No. Bloody hell. Oh, but I've annoyed a Stingwing Chaser. That's less good. Right, get inside. It'll struggle to follow me through, like, stairs and whatever. Uh, and I can just kind of dupe it that way pretty easily. Uh, yeah, it'll lose me almost immediately. Fine. So, Chaser's spawned. That's apparently worse. Let's not deal with that. Let's just hide up here for a second. Yeah, he'll lose me almost immediately. Fine. Right, I think we're good. In fact, actually, I think these doors can be... Yeah, these doors, even though they look flimsy, I think work like every other door. So even then, I don't think he can follow or see me properly through these. That's fine. Yeah, he's nowhere close by here. Fine. In which case, hello there. Let's do the thing with Doc Phosphate. I got three orders of drinks. I need you to deliver. One is just upstairs. And the other two are in town. Thirsty? Absolutely 100% sure, but any chance we could skip it again? I already took everyone their orders. Don't you remember? You said I did a rootin' tootin' good job, partner. Sorry. I like her impression of a robot cowboy. The people of Dry Rock Gulch are about to meet the friendliest bartender in town. You have my word. Appreciate it. You'll be delivering to Prospector Owen upstairs and Miss Trixie and Andy Hank in town. All right, let's go serve the drinks. I assume those have already been put in my inventory, so I know one guy's literally upstairs. So, drink number one. Gets put down in front of the corpse up here. Lovely. Black Prospector's hat. Don't know what that is. I'm just going to double check in case that's special or good. That is luck plus one. Interesting. Though I'd rather have the endurance plus one, so I'm happy with what I've got. Now, out here, Stingwing Chase is still over there, but I think we can just... Oh, oh, hello! Just another flipping... What do you mean, zero chance to... There you go, that's better. Right, clear you out with a couple of hits. Lovely, and then... Oh, balls! What just popped up? It's a... That's not fair, you utter bastard. Right, okay. No! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Flip. You utter get the poison. Okay. Back to where I was. I've delivered the first drink. I've got the other drink. Now, I see the bloodworms over there, but I don't see a legendary. So, if I can, I'm just going to... Hello there. You know what? Zero chance to Zero chance to Zero chance to You haven't seen me yet somehow. Is this a sneak attack? Legendary enemies mutated. Oh, I can get you down in three hits. Okay, now. Prepare to... Yep, yeah, now just start running. Start running. Start running. Start running. Start running. Start running. And out, you... You're just a lava. Please tell me I'm going to finish him off in one. Yes, I am. Still in danger, mind. Just keep on jumping. And normal bloodworm. I can get one hit in. Hopefully the adrenaline will do a good job there. Yep. Keep on jumping. Get the action points back. And detected. Lovely. Okay. Good work. As long as you just keep moving, you're all right. Gather up the meat. And now I know I've got a legendary. I'm going to stay the hell away. From the Stingwing pods, which I should have done in the first place. Why would I have ever gone close to them? And I've got... That's just one eyed Ike. Stay over here. The... Where the bloody hell is the... The body was right here. If you tell me that's despawned, I'm going to be so annoyed. Right, two more bloody normal worms go down. Yeah, all of these ones have hung around. What happened to the bloody legendary one over there? Gosh, John, I think it's actually despawned. Because it wasn't anywhere hidden, it was just right in the flipping middle of the street and it seems to have irritatingly gone missing. Also, something's close to, hopefully that's Ike that's almost texting me. Stay the hell away, fine. Sadly, I think I've just lost a bit of legendary gear there because yeah, corpse just despawned in a weird order. Right, head round here. Just got to hand over the drinks. Back into the main street. No sign of trouble yet. You've got, yeah, one-eyed Ike there. And yeah, hello! You're just a lava. Looks like sadly you're going to be... Ooh, just one hit. Good. Okay, one more's going to pop up. Yeah. Where are you? There you go. Ooh, you're just a lava. That's fine. Light tap there. Two hits for you, irritating. I prefer it when it's warm. Back to hidden. Lovely. Right. Deliver the next drink. 
Another sheriff over there. Another decorative water. It would be nice if those were real, damn it. Right, round here. Ignore one-eyed Ike and... Oh, flip. There's ants in there. That's not good, actually. Because if I just toss in an explosive, I might hit one-eyed Ike. That would be no good at all. Okay, let's just probably lure them out if I can. Just one good shot into them. We might just be able to hit one of them without the others actually knowing where I am. Right, you. Die right now. Now the others are coming. That's fine. And now just let them come. Because I'm pretty sure I can handle this. Because, yeah, it's no ant swarm. As long as it's not an ant swarm, that's fine. Yeah, they've wandered off over there. In fact, I'm actually not sure 100% where they've gone. It's gone down that alleyway. Okay. I don't really want to go into that room until I already know that they're dead. Yeah, there's one ant. Hello. Right. So, let's just take you out and then back off. They apparently have not seen me yet. Which is interesting. Um, yeah, they've wandered off in this direction. I think now they have seen me. Now they're coming for me, but now I can just swing at them as they come, so that's fine. Right, ant number one goes down, back off, immediately swing at ant number two. I think it's just those, and yeah, looks to me like we've got no flipping uh, ant swarm here. Marvellous. Please, no, nah, I thought that was a flipping sleeping back. There are so few save points in Nuka World, it's insane. No more sign of any trouble up there. I know we've got the stingwings in the cases, but we can just ignore them. We don't actually need to aggro them. We can stay away from that bit of the land entirely. Close the door and speak to this guy. Good job. Did old prospector Owen give you one of his great tall tales as a reward for his drink? And just like the response, they're all dead, really. I'm afraid everyone's dead. The only things left are their skeletons. Well, that ain't good. Nuka Cola would like to apologize that this part of the Dry Rock Gulch experience was not up to our standards. Rest Just assured, reminder, your complaint will be forwarded to, to the human resources and magnets Now, why don't you take this part of the safe combination and try out one of our other great activities? And hey, why not take a few more bottles of Nuka Cola while on your way out, courtesy of Nuka-Cola. Nice. So I've probably got quite a few bottles of various nukes right now. We've got a machine right here safely inside. I'm just going to quickly look at the various ones I've unlocked. You see, for me, the Nuka-Colas are really kind of mostly about action points, getting action points back. That's what makes kind of Quantum so damn good, for example. So yeah, potentially creating, say, oh, a Nuka Fancy. Yeah, I'll take a Nuka Fancy. Lovely. And a Nuka Twin too. Not so good, but it'll do. I'll go for Nuka Extreme though, because, well, one, I can't. And two, I don't really want to waste the Quantum, because Quantum's already amazing. And I can swap two Nuka Wilds for a Buzz, which is, yeah, not much on the healing front, but loads on the action point. So I will actually take one of those gladly. Oh, and I hadn't really realised this before. After you're done with Doc Phosphate's quest, you can just go around and grab the new Cola Wild straight back off the tables. Because you've already got the safe combination, so you can just basically have them straight back again. That's kind of cool. You would never realise this before, but you can actually get up onto the tracks just by clambering up that thing, which I suppose should be pretty obvious, but I just hadn't really done it before. But yeah, if you just clamber up on the bit of debris there, you can get up onto the track even without a jetpack and even without going round the rear. Which is potentially kind of useful. I mean, it would be more useful if, like, you know, there was enemies in here rather than just things you physically couldn't snipe. But I suppose it could be useful for taking out, say, the Stingwings if you have a powerful enough gun. This might be a little bit useful indeed, but no need to worry about that. And make sure we don't drop off, by the way, because I probably will die instantly. Right! One more bit of the save combination to get. And this one I'm actually a bit nervous about, because I have to have the gun fight with, um, with Ike. And that's good, because he gives you a gun. But it's bad, because he's got a gun too. And I'm not sure exactly how hard he's going to shoot me. <laughs> But the game generally is working to the assumption that, uh, yeah, I'm uh, tougher than I actually am. So, uh, what you do have a need to remember is you don't need to use the gun he gives you. You can use any gun whatsoever. So, I am totally going to go over to, uh, yeah, the, um, the 10 millimeter Because it's much faster to draw and shoot. Also, don't forget to grab the wild. And then, yeah, let's do the showdown with you. Though, actually, I need to just be along this one. Just to make sure there's nothing up here. 
to make sure nothing's going to attack me during the gunfight. But I think this area is left pretty clear to make sure you're safe to do the gunfight. Yeah, fine, everything's good there. Right, go over to a gun. Uh, actually, put the guns all away because when I speak to him, and I do want to do this one, don't want to skip this one even if I could, because I want him to give me the gun. Ready to smash. If that means gunfight, yes. Hold on to your hat, one-eyed Ike, because I'm about to show you the fastest gun in the West. Let's see if your shooting is as fast as your mouth, partner. Hey, now, we can't have a shootout without you being properly equipped. Here, take my spare pistol. And he actually gives you a Western revolver. Which is actually really damn good, but you don't want to use it. You want to use a, you know, a different faster pistol, because that one's actually quite slow to fire. So, what are the rules exactly, One-Eyed Ike? I count to three, then we draw. One, two, three, draw. There we go. Job flipping done. So, good. I'm glad he didn't shoot me, because, yeah, I have no idea how much damage he's going to do. Like, lasers in this game can do a lot of damage. That might have actually done quite a bit. So, just help myself to a bit of stuff here. And I've already got the save combination, right? Yes, I believe I do, because now I'm being pointed back over to the save. Cut through this way, back over to the rocket bat. Now I can get the Mad Mulligan's Mind save combination, which is marvellous. Well, the key, rather, actually. I've got the save combination. And there we are, the Mad Mulligan's Mind Key. Now, I know there is a way to kind of abuse this, because this isn't actually a container, obviously. It's actually literally a locked thing where the door opens and it's literally in the world. The key is literally there. So I have heard people say before, like, you can use explosives to basically physics blast the key out of the safe. But obviously, if you do, there's no guarantee it's going to end up anywhere where you know where it is. So uh, potentially, it's not necessarily the best thing to do anyway. I think we're safer just doing it this way. That pistol, though, hard in 10mm right now, doing 23 damage. That Western Revolver, 62. It is genuinely going to be... Actually, it might be the most powerful gun I've actually got that I've just been given. Yeah, it's actually more powerful than my combat shotgun, which is... Uh, well, just in terms of the fact, yeah, it's probably going to be a lot more accurate and a lot more range. So, therefore, yeah, it's going to do more damage, even though it's the same uh, damage numerically. But, yeah, just slightly ridiculous. <laughs> That, that is actually true. Actually, you know what? That quick draw calibrated powerful pipe bolt thing, that's 53 damage. Ah, but it takes the 308, so I'd rather use the 308 on the hardened sniper rifle, which is 57. So yeah, that would be good if it had been 0 0.3 ABF. If it had been 0.3, it would never would have been that powerful anyway. Now, skirt round to the right and cut through, because I don't want to go anywhere near where the sting wings are, because I've learned to my detriment that they're stupid powerful. Round here. You guys can't see me, right? No. Miles away from you. Now I just need to make sure I haven't been to this bit yet. Slow and careful. Yep, Mad Mulligan's Minecart Coaster. A truly terrible roller coaster because it's very, very short, but whatever. Seems to be safe for now, but there's plenty in there yet. <laughs> there's actually quite a lot of stuff in here, including the Queen. This is going to be fun. Now, exterminate the source of the blood worms. Now, I'm also really, really bloody low on explosives right now. So, we're kind of stuck with what I've got. Now, I know they can't get through the door. There's something through there, but I don't think they can actually get through it. No, that's just an animatronic. It's not a blood worm. It's fine. Move around. I've got sneak two, if I'm recalling correctly. So, I might be able to sneak upon that guy. Yeah, the problem is, blood worms give you really, really tiny amounts of experience. So as a result, you end up in this odd situation where even though I'm killing loads of enemies that are actually quite tough and can murder me pretty easily, I actually am not getting much for my truck. Where did you go? Okay, fine. If you're definitely gone for the time being, then I'll head this way. I think there might be something in the first room I can loot at least. Because yeah, we've got the gift shop there. Don't need to worry about that. We've got this person here, Western Animatronic. Don't need the outfit. Oh! I thought there was a side room here. No, it must just be the side room around the back of the... The shop, I'm forgetting. Ah, you've shown up again. Hello there. Right, this is a sneak attack on you, hopefully. Yep, sneak attack for times three. Really need to take ninja one. We're going into melee. Yeah, the ninja is ridiculous. But I need blitz first, to be honest. Otherwise, it's not really worth it. We've got hello, more lava. Okay, just lava. That's fine. Take a swing at you. Now, I need to murder all these guys. And actually, murdering all these guys would be useful because of the adrenaline system. Because once I've murdered all the little bloodworms, I'll be up to like plus 20% damage by the time I hit the queen. So that'll be good. We've got this guy back here. We have got Terry Tanaka. 
gets the immediate employee key. His note basically saying, yeah, these were a bunch of like traders that just dressed up as cowboys, because why wouldn't you if it was an option? Another Western revolver as well. And I don't think I need any of your stuff. I think we're good. Actually, prospector's hat. Uh, just check that's not in any way good. No, that's luck plus one as well, just like the um, the dark prospector's hat was fine. Now, there's going to be something down here. I think that might actually be... Yeah, there's a bromuffalo or whatever they were called, corpse. And I believe, yes, indeed, they're just going to burst out. Oh, I don't like it when the corpse is writhing with the big blood worms. Like, creeps me out. Right, stay over here. Head up to this way, and we can use the employee key to crack open this back room. This is all quiet, right? Yep, all quiet. Including, ah, yeah, don't forget drugs. Don't forget buff out and psycho jet. May well need some of that yet. Got missile and missile launchers around here. Ooh, that's interesting. And snub nose, well, I'll take the 44. That is many, many things of 44. I don't know the snub nose anymore. I'll take the shotgun shells as well. Okay, this was worth coming into. Now. I'm not much of a missile user, but I will say I'm already carrying too much. You can't run. Yeah, you can't really do big guns and explosive things on uh, survive mode. It just doesn't fly. The missiles weigh flipping seven each. Seven bloody each. But I will say, if the opportunity presents itself, as I just happen to have this thing right flipping here, and I imagine there's going to be a corpse full of these things. I mean, I'm not sure if like, I can kill them right now. I'll give it a go. That'll do. I think that actually did... Yeah, that actually did the job I wanted it to. Marvellous, at least it killed some of them. They're still coming, mind. Wait for them to get up here. I don't think they can actually get up the stairs. Right, one, lovely. And definitely one more. Yeah, that's just another lava. Ouch! You got a bite in. Yeah, don't panic. It's just the lava. The big ones will do way more damage, but the lava are all right. This is actually basically just grinding up adrenaline, which is useful. Hello! More lava. And you go down too. I think he got a biting thing. I just saw the... Oh, no, no. I thought it was a little kind of like web effect that goes in your body when you've been bitten by like an insect. But we're okay for now. Right. Good shape. Plenty of meat too. Ah, sleeping bags. Okay. Oh, that's a relief. That's a hell of... Oh, but if I sleep here, I lose my adre... Oh, I should have slept. But if I'd have known that, I'd have slept before I killed those guys. I'm going to lose my adrenaline. I'm going to drop a save anyway. I don't want to lose everything that I've just done, you know, again after that bloody Stingwing Chaser. So I'm just going to drop, like, um, a mini save here. I'm parched and I'm tired. That's fine. I can get a good night's sleep after this is done. Yeah, I'm not sure how tough the Queen's going to be. Like, I remember her being easy the first time I came here. But first time I came here... What's this water, by the way? Is this... By any chance? Nope, that is indeed definitely radiated water fine. I'll have a second drink just to lower my thirst level. Right, properly hydrated. Hopefully don't get sick from that. Nope, we are good. Okay. Now, I just need to find a way to the queen. But yeah, I've sacrificed... Um, even though I didn't actually sleep, I just kind of went in and went out again. The game still counts to sleeping, so you still lose your adrenaline, unfortunately. So, just need to uh, get around here. And I think, actually, we're already almost... Almost there. I think the queen is just around the corner up here. So that's a very generous save point. Is it around here? Yeah. The queen is in that pit. And I'm not sure whether she's actually spawned yet. If she hasn't, I wouldn't mind... Mm. Okay, now she's woken up. Fine. I think she just needs to activate. Now, as a result of activating, is she coming over? Oh, okay, she might be coming over here. If she comes over here, that's... Oh, danger. 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 That means normally something's popping up nearby. I'm not sure if they can even leave the room. There's the queen. Bloodworm queen. Actually, I think I might be able to grab her unless she's legendary. I don't think she is. Oh, that was a good first strike. That was lucky. Nice. And I get 10 XP for the queen. Bloodworms are worth so little XP. It's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that was nowhere near as dangerous as I was expecting. Bloodworm meat. Lovely. Now, I'm guessing there might be more in here yet. Uh, Yeah. I'm just going to toss a grenade over the top just to potentially hopefully clear out a couple of them. Well, cleared out at least two because they're worth, I think, uh, like 10 or 11 points each. So that's worth that. Yeah, there's more lava over there. Would you believe, of course, the queen spawns lava. So there's one there. Maybe just one left. Fine. Ouch! Oh, flip. You are... Why are you red? You are marked as red, but you're not a legendary. Don't know what your deal is. You're just glowing red for no well-explained reason. Right, you're dead too. I'm very almost... Oh, we got more over there that might be coming yet. 
More Brahma fl Oh, it's because they've just spawned. It's the ones that have only just spawned. And finally, we've flipping leveled up here. Uh, back in danger will be the final one that's over there that's about to pop up. There he is. Oh, I'm a little bit too far away from you. Hello there. Finish you off. Lovely. And to hidden. And life is good. Marvellous. And on the way out, of course, help myself to a medallion. Not sure I'm even going to bother with Nera's quest. It is pretty worthless. It doesn't really give you anything good. Uh, into the employees only section. And what's in here? Nothing major, to be honest. A few tickets and those. Bit of ammo. That's useful. 10 millimeter. Fine. Ammo box. I might do that in a second. Plasma cartridge. They're light, so I'll take them in case I find some. Don't need 5 millimeter mind. And 12 shotgun shells. Sure, why not? There we are. Crack open the door. Back to the beginning. Lovely. Of course, the quest icon in this section goes a little bit weird because there's technically two sheriffs depending on which entrance you come in. You can go and speak to that sheriff even though I've never spoken to it before. But if I head over here, the quest will update to tell me to go and speak to this sheriff instead. Who I'm going to because that's the sheriff I spoke to first so it feels right, damn it. Also, I've just slightly upset more flipping bloodworms on my way past. Well done, me. There we go. We finally died there. Beautiful. Right. Now I'm not in danger, I dare to speak to the sheriff, so I don't dare start a conversation when I'm in danger. Because they can just pop up and merge you during the conversation, because time does not freeze. There we are, Sheriff, I've done the job. It was everything you promised, Sheriff. More fun than a bale full of hay. Well, all right. Please put in a good word with Milka Cola. Corporate, when your survey card arrives in the mail here. Take some souvenir bottle caps courtesy of the Milka Cola Janitorial Service Department. You and your friends are welcome in Dry Rock Gulch anytime. There we are. Now I need to assign a gang to Dry Rock Gulch. Uh, where is the... The, there it is. It's on the top of the amphitheater. Yes, indeed. I would like to think, of course, Minnie would always play along with the Robert. She's wanted to come here so long. She just wants to do the activities, damn it. The whole bloodworm thing is just an inconvenience. She really just wants to play with the activities. Right, so now I can assign a gang. Doesn't really matter which one because this is the first world. So as a result, I can basically just pick anyone. The rewards are probably the best from the operators, so I may as well go for the operators first. I haven't actually decided which gang is going to be the one that I ultimately kind of annoy. Uh, kind of depends where my build goes, because the perks are all very powerful, just, you know, more appropriate for different builds. So, uh, I'll go for operators first at the bare minimum, and yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. Operators, job done. High noon at the gulch complete. Big pile of XP, though nowhere near enough to get me up to the next level, sadly. Though I do have a level up. It's been a while since I've had a bloody level up. I'm kind of thrilled to have one of those all of a sudden. Boom. Now, level 10 is really, really interesting. Obviously, I could take Rifleman too, but I feel like we're not necessarily going exactly that route right now. Though it would be, unquestionably, useful and powerful. I could take Demolitions Expert too, for way more damage with the explosives and the throwing arc. Which is really, really damn useful. I could take Big Leagues and say, you know what, we're doing well with the rocket back, keep doing that. Or I could, down here indeed, take Blitz. Blitz 1. Or Ninja. Yeah, that's up to... Well, how soon is Ninja 2? Ninja 2's at 16. So as long as I take Ninja 1 by 15, that's fine. Um, Yeah. I mean, at Blitz 1, it's just the distance. It's not the damage. It's the distance. So, yeah, at Blitz 2, it becomes... And that's not till level 29, so we probably won't see that during this particular playthrough. That's where it gets more powerful the further away you are. So, hmm... Anything else come available at this point by any chance? No, those are the ones I'd probably be looking at here. Or I could just take an extra point in strength. Because that's just extra damage with the rocket bats. It's... Hmm, oh, that's so tough. Demolition Expert 2 is really damn good. But I feel like I don't necessarily need the throwing arc. And they are hitting hard enough already. I'm taking Blitz. Blitz 1. Absolutely. I'm not going to regret that, I don't think. Right. In that case, first job is in fact complete. We have liberated a world. Phew, that took longer than I thought. Part six, to liberate one world. Though admittedly, we're starting to get somewhere now. Now we've got the rocket bat and blitz and a really good strength of all this armor. We're actually in a good situation to potentially start making some much faster progress.
Now, a couple of useful things I've actually just got out of what I've been cooking here. Roasted bloodworm actually gives you increased radiation resistance. Not necessarily by much, but could be useful in Kitty Kingdom. Meanwhile, the crickets, plus 20 energy resistance for 30 minutes. Now, that actually means that could be useful when I return to the Galactic Zone. So, actually, yeah, the meat we've picked out of Dry Rock Gulch is genuinely going to potentially give me a decent edge in some other worlds. Also, I would not kind of sit that close to the fire when you're wearing the furry pants, Mini. Just, you know, friendly bit of advice there. Now, as for the Western Revolver, currently 69 with my current level of adrenaline. But, oh, yeah. It's one of the Nuka World weapons, so you can't do anything to it unless you've got ridiculously high perks, so I won't be able to do a thing to this. But even so, yeah, standard grip, you can just, anyone can do that. But if you want the sharpshooter's grip, which is, as far as I can tell, pretty much interchangeable, aside from being slightly less transparent on the schematic, then you're going to need Gunslinger 4 and Gunnut 4, which is ridiculous for increasing accuracy of 5. That's just ridiculous, <laughs> but alright, whatever. And sights you can put if you want reflex sights. Or a short scope. Short scope looks ridiculous on a pistol. That's Oh, hang on. I'm allowed to do this. I could put a reflex scope on. That's actually kind of weird. Everything else needs ridiculous perks. But the sights, you can just slap what you want on that. Hmm, the range isn't good enough to justify a scope. But if I could just find three nuclear material, and that's going to be a bit of an ass. Because, yeah... Not sure what I can harvest in around here. If I had a plasma weapon, I could melt some enemies in order to get nuclear material out of them, but I'm not sure that's going to fly, to be honest. No, don't see any way to get that anytime soon. You know, the weird thing is, this quick draw calibrated powerful pipe bolt-action rifle, I can actually get that up to 70 damage with just one more screw. Then I can just put a short scope on top of it, not a medium scope, which I think is what's on the what's on the um, the sniper rifle. That's a, Yeah, that's a medium scope. But that's at 63 right now. This thing actually could be a bit more powerful, which is ridiculous. But okay, that's that's what it says. So I should probably, yeah, be on the lookout for just a screw. Then put a short scope on that. Uh, but then it's lacking in the it's lacking the range. It's only got range of 119 accuracy 84 versus... Oh, yeah. You know, I'll stick with the sniper rifle just for the range, because the range is so much better. Just a sniper weapon with lacking in range, that's just not where you want to be, is it? Right, following morning, and I could nip back to Dry Rock Gulch to pick up the stash, and... Uh, you know, I'm tempted to do that. I will actually just go and see whether it's actually worth getting. I think the operator's stash is probably going to be better than the other, so I'm just going to nip over there and collect the stash. And then, there's one more thing I want to do today in preparation for returning to the Galactic Zone, because I think the Galactic Zone is... Uh, not necessarily the one we're going to conquer next, but it is the one I want to visit next. Because there's an important bit of... There was just an explosion over there, right? Who just blew up who and why? Well, whatever happened, it left no survivors, unfortunately, so we shall never know. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, there's something here. Ah! Operator Waster. But what killed you and... Ah, okay. I think possibly, yeah, these guys basically tossed a grenade at bloodworms that were standing right next to them. Good job, guys. Bloody genius. Now, this does get me an operator's sniper rifle, however. Now, that could potentially be very useful because, yeah, that's a sniper rifle, which even if it hasn't potentially got quite the power of my existing sniper rifle, will have plentiful ammo because, yeah, the 7.62, there's ammo all over the place. So, might be a bit easier to keep full up. Yeah, the damage is only 38, and I suspect I'm going to struggle to adapt it much, but... You know what, I will, I will keep it. How much is it? Wait, 17 was that? Bloody hell. Right, uh, what's the zoom on this? I haven't got it to a bench, but that's... That's, is that a medium scope? Uh, it'll do for now. I'll use it if I happen to run out of ammo for my hardened. And the operators have marked this place as theirs. The targeting dummies, the dangling things. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And the bloodworm sign has gone. Which you shouldn't have done, because, um, by the way, I didn't actually clear out all the bloodworms. There are still bloodworms here, and also stingwings. And basically, I did a very bad job. Yeah, in fact, I've actually just showed up, and they are still actually having to fight things, because I haven't bothered to clear everything out yet. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, this gets me bottle caps, 10mm ammo. Yep, 7.62 already. Beautiful. Two quantums, that's worth it. And a quartz, and a nuka, and a wild. Ooh, high-capacity handmade rifle. Okay, interesting. You're carrying too much. Those things weigh so bloody much. Compensated hard in 10mm. That might actually be better than my one, in fact. 
yeah, that high capacity hammer drive. Maybe we could take the mod for more ammo off it, but no, I think I'm happy to leave it, really. So we'll drop that. And yeah, the compensated hardened 10mm is in fact just my hardened 10mm, but better, because it's compensated, so it's just got slightly better range on it. So yeah, I will take that. You can go away, my good man. We'll just start using this instead. So this, just drop that. And this is now favorited, lovely. And of course, the other nice thing about actually handing this place over to the gangs is one, I've got reinforcements if I do want to clear out, say, the sting wings, and also I've got extra beds here too. Right, out of Dry Rock Gulch, and now what I want to do is I want to skirt around the outside of the Galactic Zone, because I'm vaguely hoping maybe if we're lucky, yeah, the um the event where the Disciples take and the Super Mutants might spawn in. Again, I don't know exactly what the trigger is, but if it doesn't, then this way is pretty safe. Yep, there it is. That is it right there. That is so. Oh, actually, that doesn't look like pack. Yeah, that's pack. Oh, I thought it was always disciples. I've seen disciples twice in a row. But as it turns out, oh no, it's scavengers. Okay, it's something I wasn't really expecting, but that's fine. We'll be able to help ourselves to some leftovers, whatever. Yeah, they just murdered the scavengers straight away. Sadly, it's. Oh, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? Do not throw grenades when I'm here. Yeah, obviously, it's much better if it's a fair fight because then there's losses on both sides and I can just pick off whoever is left at the end there. In this case, it was just pretty much way too easy for the pack just wandering and take out the scavengers, so there's no real benefit to me. But that's okay. That means this area is now safe for me to proceed skirting around the edge of here because I'm heading round to the south. Uh, I need to be careful here, though, because I have seen death claws spawn in the car parking area around here, so be a little careful, let's just, yeah, we're all right for now, if I just kind of stick over here, away from the, that looks like all the flipping stingwing nests in the world, <laughs> okay, as long as I just walk like, you know, between the two, so don't get too close to all the stingwings in the world, or the death claw that's likely over there, then everything's fine, basically, oh, okay, bloat flies ahead of me, but that's fine, now I've actually got, yeah, the long range on this, oh, yeah, Glowing bloat flies, not quite as terrifying as they once were. Three hits, and not quite, and boom, lovely. And then we've got one, oh, one black bloat fly. That's not good. You're dangerous, aren't you? Uh, oh, I thought you were, but looks like you're going to go down in one. Maybe just a low-level one. Uh, you probably just put some poison on me, which is irritating, but I can deal with it. Yep, we're fine. Right, just grab up the meat. We'll cook that later. Ah, and I get nuclear material off the glowing bloat fly. Okay. If I happen to run into a few more glowing enemies, like, you know, something easy like a glowing feral, actually, that might be the one way I can get enough nuclear material to stick a reflex scope on the top of the Western Revolver. That'd actually be quite nice. Now, out here, yeah, I'm heading south into the wilderness. And the reason is because that's, uh... Oh. If there's a flying ant swarm over there, I'm going over here. I'm heading towards the junkyard. I can't do anything for the herbologist right now because I can't get into the galaxy zone to get in their spacesuits. I will be able to soon. But there's something else in the junkyard other than just their quest. Something I'd like to go and get right now if I can. But I am kind of in the middle of nowhere and I don't have great visibility to be honest. Right, that's uh, I think that's one of the friendly... Ooh. Really close to a Mylurk. I'm just going to go away from that. I'm really glad I've got Sneak too, because I feel like it is saving me right now. Uh, what else do we have around here? Oh, we're okay for the moment. I was detected for a minute, so I'm not sure what was detecting me there. That is... Ah! The Cleansed! Okay, please, please don't come up and have a conversation with me about religion right now, because we've got bigger problems. Like, there's crickets in that thing, there's Mylurks over there, there's a flying ant swarm, there's probably flipping death claws around here, because they normally bloody are. I'm just going to stay away from the Cleansed. I know where that. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's uh, just him, right? Oh dear. Stay away from the kill claw. Stay away from the kill claw. Stay away from the kill claw. If I can sneak up on this thing, are we close enough? Yep, close enough. Finish it. Nice. Blitz one. Blitz one is amazing. That's a mile like over there. Something's seen me. Infected blood bug. Not grey. I can do some damage to it. Boom. Boom. Okay, and then... Oh, no, 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 not even close. Okay, got to be a bit more careful heading south. You know, this is probably a bad path. That path I was going on is not the best path. Because there's a lot of dangerous stuff around this sort of area. I think my destination is, like, somewhere around, like, there. But if I head down here, I can pretty much stick to a much friendlier side of the river. And then I can just cut across... Yeah, actually, I can, well... 
starting at Evan's house wouldn't necessarily be the best idea, but I could just head down here, Nuketown, USA, and then pretty much head just due west from there. That's gotta be the better, more sensible plan. Yeah, the universe agrees with my assumptions. It's just gone really, really sunny as soon as I started going along this route. So, out of the front gate of Nuka World, and then just pretty much head due west from here. I've got... what is that house? I've no idea what that house is, but it's worrying me already. Right. Let's get the... no, 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 not that. It's a bit better than my old pistol, but not by much. Let's just... we'll skirt around the edge of that house. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get an escort from, like, some pack or something. But for the moment, at least... I don't remember exploring that house, and that worries me. I'm not sign of trouble yet. The brackets are shuffling, but only the tiniest bits. So, what's this place? It's got an interior. Proper upstairs. No one's assaulting it. Okay, I think I might have missed this little house last time I was here. What's it for? Nothing major, really. Just a normal house. Crib, sink, ruined bed. No one to get up to the roof without a jetpack by the looks of it. So, okay. Leave that be for now. Don't worry about it too hard. Ah! Old farm by the looks of things, yeah. Proper old area with a bit of actual food I can harvest, that's nice. Gotta be careful in this area though, yeah, a little bit further south of here, we're gonna have a lot of bugs floating around. And where exactly is the junkyard from here? Um, that's the herbologist camp. So a bit further up the Milux. Okay, I'm gonna cross the river about, uh, wait, if I cross here to there, that's actually still the wrong side of the river, isn't it? Yeah, it would be, because that would be over there. So, fine, I need to cross to about here. I'll take a few rads. But after that's done, not many... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Get out of the water. Down. Right, my lurks over there haven't seen me. Now I just need to head over to the... No, we're good. We're good. That's just a member of the Herbologists. Don't actually want any trouble here. What I want is... Uh oh Bloodworm, bloodworm, bloodworm. That's just a bloodworm. I'm fine with that. Whatever they want to do. If they want to come up to me, that's fine. They're welcome to. I'm not too worried. Oh, yeah. That was just basically a bloodworm. Good. There you go. Whack you with a big stick. i move straight on. There we go. Uh-oh. The dangerous music has just started playing... The music started playing for a rad rat pup. You know what, Gabe? I think you've got a little overexcited there. You've got really rather overexcited. I really hope there's more than that, otherwise that's... No, I think it's more rad rat pups. Right, okay. That This is fine. I think we've got this. Oh, it's because that one's marked with a skull. <laughs> the little rat is marked with a skull because technically the game still thinks it's ridiculously too tough for me. <laughs> oh, there's more yet, though. Screw the lot of you. Oh, the infected one's last, though, and dead. Okay. Actually, in all fairness, they did just take off, like, a third to a half of my health bar. <laughs> oh, everything murders me. There we go. There's the end of the drama music. Okay, so now I'm just walking up the road towards here. The problem is actually, yeah, uh, walking straight up the road, there's some dangerous stuff on the road because you're supposed to have, like, these guys to help you fight it. So this might be a bit on the tricky side, actually. Though, actually, things are looking calm for now. That's just a gazelle up ahead. That's a... Oh. You know what? That. That over there. We should keep our distance from. I'm going to stay on this side of the road. Um, Okay, just walk straight up the road. Don't get seen by anything. The key is... Don't get seen by... Anything. Okay, how are we doing on distance? Especially... To the legendary rad scorpion. That needs to just stay over there. Okay. Yeah. You know what? If they want to eat something, they should eat these gazelles. Not me. Gazelles probably put up less of a fight. Not, you know, by a huge degree because that thing would just murder me, but whatever. Okay. Safe for now. Now, I'm not going into the junkyard. I want to skirt on the outside of the junkyard. I've got a very, very particular reason for doing that. And that is because in the junkyard, there is another instance of something I saw earlier, this very part. 
But I would like to start gathering before we return to the Galactic Zone. Those of you know this. Oh, 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 oh no. No, no. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit into the junkyard. If only because anything other than ant swarms, because you've seen those guys. They're more dangerous than flipping legendary rad scorpions. Right, round here. This building. This building here on the edge of the junkyard contains, if I'm right, one of these anyway. Won't necessarily be this one, but it's bloody one of them. Contains one of the star cores. Now, I want to go into the Galactic Zone with a fair few star cores already on my person. We've got the Nucatron Guardian. Are you going to wake up? Is that what you're about to do? Because that would be really dickish if you did. No. There's a computer terminal there. I think we're good. If we don't activate the terminal... Oh, 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 oh. What just saw me? Is it the eight? There's an alien up top. There's a... Oh, oh, no. No, 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 use the thing, you use the, you use blitz, use blitz, there you go, ouch, you utter git, I hate you, I hate Mr. Fizzies so much, right, now, how are we, stay away from where the rads are, is that all we got, yeah, that's it, okay, bloody, bloody fizzies, <laughs> hate Mr. Fizzies, right, got a commie whacker here, don't need one of them, Help myself to... Yeah, I'll take a fusion core if I can carry it. Now, I believe uh, the thing I want is upstairs. Uh, that is just back into there. I'm tired from lack of sleep. Fine. Right up here. Upstairs, yeah. The animatronic alien hasn't seen me yet. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to snipe it off. Because I'd rather it be dead. There we are. And that thing is dead. Lovely. Bit of a waste of ammo, but whatever. Right, reload. So now this area should be safe, I think. And oh, there's bad rats up here too. Bloody hell. Right, uh, take the stim packs. Uh, through to here and just there we go. Over that. Now it's somewhere around here. Actually, there's a scav here as well. So it's worth it just for the scav, to be honest. There we are. One star core. Beautiful power distributor. I may as well take that because I'll need it later. So, take the fusion cells and scav issue two. Which one's this again? Combat knife and switchblade. That would be good if I had, yes, yeah, certain weaponry, but I feel like I don't have, like, a powerful enough weapon to justify going over to that. I'll take a dark, just in case I need that, and the safe I can open. And you, sadly, do not drop a real alien blaster. Tragically. Now, with that, if I recall correctly... Yes, indeed, I now have star court times four. This one from here, dry rock gulch, the one in the market, and the one in the nuke now, with those four, I think I have a new, much better plan for dealing with bloody Galactic Zone. Because when I head there next, well, it's the fizzies. The fizzies upstairs that keep screwing over. They murder me like four times in a row. With four star cores, uh, I've got a plan. Because I think now, with those, I should be able to do some good work. Potentially, start to shut down the security before I even run into the worst of it. So, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we are returning to the Galactic Zone, which so utterly kicked our ass when we arrived. The bare minimum, there is something I want to pick up there, because, yeah, there's some really good loot in there that we're potentially going to need to actually succeed later in this DLC. And, well, I think now is the time to head in there and give it a go. I think, finally, we are ready. So, that is next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. With the spin, Fallout 4, Nuke World with Level 1 Survival. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've got plans. Dad, this, this is my plan. International peacekeeping force. I'm here to bring peace. It's a tsunami of monkeys. This is literally a tidal wave of monkeys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be here. Don't be standing here. Okay. Oh, you want more peace? Here, have some more. Have some more.